pray to Satan, pray to Satan, pray to Satan. For those of you who don't know, The Amazing Atheist, also known as TJ, is a fellow YouTuber who is, of course, atheist, and he often discusses religion, politics, and science on his YouTube channel. And I wanted to make this video today not only for TJ, but to also show his fans that veganism is a necessary lifestyle choice if you consider yourself an ethical person and a critical thinker who cares about the overall well-being of the planet, but also wants to contribute to the social and scientific progress of humanity. So the first reason TJ should go vegan is for climate change and water. TJ has said in many videos that he's concerned about global warming and he often criticizes climate change deniers, and he's also shared his concerns with the availability of clean drinking water. 99.84% of our scientific papers on the subject are telling us that global warming is real, and almost all of them are saying that we are the cause. Lack of clean drinking water kills more people each year than all forms of violence, including war. 800 million people on this planet do not have access to clean drinking water at all. According to a 2006 United Nations study, cattle rearing alone generated more greenhouse gas emissions than cars, with animal agriculture accounting for 18% of total greenhouse gas emissions, with a more thorough 2009 World Watch study showing that animal agriculture accounts for 51% of total greenhouse gas emissions. And for comparison, all transportation systems combined only account for 13% of emissions. You absolutely blast people, calling them completely fucking retarded for denying climate change. Well, the best thing you can do to reduce your global warming impact is to stop eating meat, dairy, and eggs. If you're going to claim that global warming is such a huge issue, then you have to be an example for your millions of followers and get them to make meaningful lifestyle changes. Did he say seek out? Seek out? Along with being such a huge contributor to global warming, the animal products industry also wastes a tremendous amount of water. It can take 2,400 gallons of water to make just one pound of meat, but it only takes 25 gallons to make just one pound of wheat. And it can take up to 2,000 gallons of water to make just one gallon of milk. Again, if you really do think these are serious problems and you want to do something about it, then veganism is clearly the best form of action, and you should be bringing this to the attention of your viewers and leading by example. The second reason TJ should go vegan is because he is against senseless violence. He often criticizes religious extremists for killing in the name of their god. Well, TJ is committing murder with virtually every single meal he eats. And if you're going to criticize Muslims or Christians for committing mass murder in the name of their god, then it doesn't make much sense for you to murder animals along with contributing to the environmental issues I just mentioned just so that you can have something that you think tastes good. Seek out. Meat, dairy, and eggs also aren't necessary for our nutrition and they are in fact bad for us. The president of the American College of Cardiology, Dr. Kim A. Williams, is a vegan and recommends a whole foods vegan diet for the prevention and treatment of heart disease, among other chronic diseases. The American Diabetes Foundation also found that vegans have the lowest risk of obesity and type 2 diabetes, and the largest forward-looking study on cancer ever conducted found that vegetarians have the lowest risk of all cancers combined, and those following a vegan diet have blood that is eight times less hospitable to cancer cells compared to those following a standard American diet. There is absolutely no justification to consume animal products. It is one of the main contributing factors to global warming. It wastes water, it is undeniably cruel, and it even destroys your own health. And others in the atheist community, including Richard Dawkins, recognize how illogical and immoral it is to consume animal products. I think you'll have a very, very strong point when you when you say that, that anybody who eats meat has a very, very strong uh, obligation to think seriously about it. And I don't find any very good defense. I find myself in exactly the same position as uh, you or I would have been 200 years ago, uh, talking about, I mean 200 years, perhaps a bit, a bit longer ago than that, talking about slavery, where uh, somebody like Thomas Jefferson, a man of very sound ethical principles, kept slaves. It was just what one did. I mean, it was yeah. the kind of the, the societal norm. Well, um, the, the historical precedent of slavery I think is actually rather a good one because yes. because um, there was a time when it was simply the norm uh, everybody did it some people did it with with gusto and relish other people like Jefferson did it reluctantly um, I would have probably done it reluctantly and I have sort of just gone along with the, with what society does but I think it's extremely hard it was hard to defend then yet mm. ev everybody did it and 
that's the sort of position I find myself in now. And uh, well, I think what I'd really like to see is um, people like you having a, a far greater effect upon, uh, I would call it consciousness raising, really, mm. um, having a, and, and try to swing it round so that it becomes the societal norm. Uh, not to eat meat. And you might shrug off the personal health benefits of a vegan diet, and I've seen videos of yours where you're smoking, and you say, uh, who gives a shit, who wants to live long anyway? Well, I think you have a responsibility to live long and be healthy. Christopher Hitchens had a very similar view on his health as you do, and he drank and he smoked, and look what happened. He died a very slow, painful death, but worst of all, he's not around anymore to promote atheism and put religious fanatics in their fucking place. We've lost one of the smartest, most influential people in the atheist movement, and he could have still been around here today promoting atheism and introducing more people to critical thinking if he had taken his health seriously. And you're not in great shape yourself, you're overweight, you smoke, you don't have a good diet, and you're heading down the same road as Christopher Hitchens, and all of your enemies, Christians, Muslims, Jews, or whatever, they want to see that happen, and you're just fulfilling their wish by smoking and eating all these shitty fucking animal products. And you, as a smart, critical thinker, have a responsibility to take care of your health so that you can speak up against all this fucking bullshit in the world. We really don't need more smart people to fucking die and have them just be replaced by 10 more fucking idiots. And the last reason I think TJ should go vegan is to break free of indoctrination. And a lot of the religious fanatics that TJ criticizes, they've been indoctrinated from a young age to believe in this magical sky wizard and pray and worship to him, and to deny any kind of science, reason, and logic, and to possibly commit horrible acts in the name of their god, well, TJ has been indoctrinated into carnism, the belief that eating meat, dairy, and eggs is normal and acceptable, but there's nothing fucking acceptable about causing suffering and death, destroying the planet, wasting precious resources, and destroying your own health in the process. If you're against religious indoctrination, which brainwashes people and promotes hatred, bigotry, and violence, then you should be against carnist indoctrination, which brainwashes people into thinking that it's acceptable to kill animals and cause the environmental destruction of our planet. Now, with all that said, I seriously doubt TJ's going to go vegan, and it's because he's a fat, lazy, selfish, judgmental asshole, and lots of people have talked to him about why he should go vegan, and the vegan atheist even did a video on him, but he's still not vegan because he's a fucking dumbass hypocrite. So, fuck you, TJ. Beef. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how.